Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back. And I welcome all of you to another part of the Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection, Mega Man Zero 3! I'm getting really good at saying that title fast, which is surprising. But today we're gonna start off, because last episode we looked through all of the resistance base, so today we're gonna start off with a mission. Uh, let's talk to the operator. Oh, wait a second. Let's talk to CL first. Manage data or talk? Okay, we can just do either or. EX skills we have none here, those are just the types. Ah, there we can choose satellites with the uh, cyber elves. Fusions, just for you, I heal int vitality. You can apparently be few. Oops. Not what I had in mind, but I did it anyway, because I'm an idiot. But I think we already know about that. So, E crystals. Uh, oh, insufficient. Oh, oh, it only lets me. Okay, that's interesting. It only lets me put in some if I have. You let increase my boost on. Sure, why not? I can boost your speed up ladders. Well, interesting. Let's have that, and then there's the lift of cyber elves that we have. Well, that's. Cool to have. Okay, so far, unless I can equip that one now. No, nothing. Okay, go. We've done the cyber health thing. Let's talk to the operator. Select the mission. Displaying the available missions. So we can go uh, to Aegis Volcano Base, where we fight the Blazing Blizzard. Uh, not available, Army Recon, or the Oceanic. We ruins HWY ruins, don't know what that means. Children in Arabita. Oh, I remember what you were. Track the E. We have the WR Factory, Devil Badge Shield, Destroy Factory, or the Old res Residential, Death Tense Mantisk, Find Dark Elf. So, um. You were the one that... Oh no, I know what you were weak against. But that said, I always started with you. So, let's go with that. Let's go and fight the Blazing Blizzard. The Neo-Arcadian army is building up at the base of an Aegis volcano. We do not know what their intention is. Do some scouting. Let me scout ahead. Mission assigned. All personnel prepared to transfer. Preparation for transfer complete. Zero. Be careful. I always am, except for when I'm not. A strong energy reading detected. They are building a huge missile outside the base. The base must must be here to support the construction. Analyzing a route to the miss missile factory will take quite a while. Zero, what should we do? Alright, I burst some time by attacking the base. Start your analysis. Analysis, whatever. So we're starting off. Ah, back there you can see a missile and everything. Whoops, hi there. I remember you. Gonna not rush into anything because I don't 100% remember the layouts of the stages. I just remember that I played through those stages and I remember the bosses as well hi there and goodbye there oh yeah those are the cyber doors where we could go into the cyber world if we do that however we immediately get ranked lower than we normally would so I could jump into them whenever I see them and go with the assumption that we will get a lower low rank regardless. But for the time being, we're still doing good with our rank, so how about we try and keep it at that for as long as possible? Whoop. Nope. But yeah, we can now jump into the cyber world, and there is certainly th fun moments where I definitely want to do that. Because there are... Okay, that is a bit bad. That is really bad, because I cannot get that. So, whoop. And nope. 
Need to be careful because those... Ah, yeah. There's that thing. And slash. Okay. You somehow managed to shove me off there. So, congratulations on you for that. Ouch, that actually hurt. Now I'm getting reckless because now we died once. Because that was that was a stupid way of dying there. Okay, seriously, come on. Can't be that I get hit by everything now. Well, that's actually a lie. Might probably get hit by more than everything now. Because now I died once, so now the pressure's off. I will die again. Right here at the beginning, which is really frustrating if things will really go like this. Oh my god. One hit left, no energy. Thank you for that, needed it. Nearly did it again. So. Ah, uh, Leop, because I remembered that there was something up there. Does that one go all the way? No. But that one went. So. I'm genuinely surprised at the things that I remember from this game. And ouch! Still don't like you. Never liked them. Make him is sitting dead. Surprisingly worked out for me. Make them... Bless ya. Okay, there's nothing over there that I can reach. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that thing that I genuinely don't have a problem with. It's also not stressful. I just like it. Because it's not bull. <laughs> so therefore I like it. So, let's see. Was there anything? Oh, yeah, those things. So we have some containers here. We can move them with the recoil rod. And that way we get some more secrets. Always have the recoil rod with you. Also for them. Look at you, boom, and that will turn you around. And that way I can attack you more easily. So I need to push you once or twice. I'm gonna push you another time. Not like I can't do anything from this side, but will certainly help from the other side. Always be careful when sliding down. He might hide something below your food. Food. Feet. He might also hide something below your food. Ah, something timed here. Those things, I remember them. I forgot that they were kind of fun little fight to have. Give me that disc. Because I just want to have information on what you are. Jump, jump, jump. Well, 1001. Like every good YouTube video these days. They're fun. This like, uh, how good are your reflexes kind of thing. So therefore I kind of enjoy that. Also it's not really too difficult, so nothing to be mad about. And those spinny bastards that I hate deeply. Hi them, how about you don't. Hi them, how about you don't. Also, okay, you stand a little bit on the stupid side, see? That's what I wanted to do with you. Also, one would have probably been enough, but still, two. Felt better. And I remembered that I wanted to do this, I think, always like two times, just to make sure that I can reach it. Oh, that... Okay, nope, that ended badly. Should have probably shot at you or something, but I didn't. Okay, come down here. Ah, this part. Whoop. Hey, this part I remember not liking too much. Not like it was a big problem to get through it, but it always made me so anxious. Just like now, it made me way too anxious. But we did it, boss fight time. I almost give up on finding a few for worthy of fighting me. You look like you might at least be a minor challenge. I'm gonna enjoy this, uh, Zero. Get ready for Blaze and Blizzard, one of Wild's numbers. Let's heat it up, Zero! 
He actually has a deeper voice. Well, gave you the wrong kind of voice. Oh, yep, that was. If you do that, you're somewhat easy to fight. Oops. How about you don't stand directly in his wake? Whoop, and there we go. Just do that. Who are you to put out my flames? Lord Wild will get you though. Make no mistake. He'll cover the whole world in flames, you'll see. You can't put out the flames of our new world. Skill. Ah! Would probably have sounded better if I gave him a deep voice, but whatever, we're gonna roll with it, okay? Okay. And we get still an A rank. I take it. And the flame chip, body chip. Uh, you capture the X skill, Blazing Blizzard. The burst shot, nice. What do we have? Slope, 50 E krills, crossbows, boom arrows, and clocko. Well, some good things that we got here. Moving on. That wasn't too shabby. Good thing is that I still remember a lot about this game. Thank you, Zero. We find failed to destroy the missile, but I believe we succeeded in delaying its construction. I will analyze the route to the missile factory as quickly as possible. Please, wait a bit longer, okay? No problem. So now we have the body chip, where we can set to flame, which is like the flame chips and everything that we had in the other games. Just with the body. And that kind of will give you maybe a little hint of what else we might get in this game. Potentially. But let's go to the lab. We have a lot of uh, discs to look at. What will it be? We want to look at the secret discs. What do we have here? Neo Arcadia is a utopia of people without any mavericks. Might be true, might not be true. What do I know? A cyber elf Beanie was inside. Ooh, nice cyber elves. Always like getting those. For the E crystals. Nice. More E crystals. Oh, Blazing Blizzard. This lizard can detach his tail and frill. Which. He didn't detach his tail, but his frill, and he launched it through the air, but only once. After that, he was a little bit stupid with fighting. Lamp Lord, mechanoloid made to cook fish. Who designed that thing? Just a genuine question. Who designed that? Crossbind shoots far away bullets and warps. Yep, we saw that it could do that. Alouette treasures a doll CL gave her. The bunny doll, yes. Ragnola helps with wounded reploids. Also really, really good. Perquite, a brilliant assistant to CL. A, a truge, a tall reploid known for his dull speeches. Well, sorry for that. And Pick, a cynical reploid who makes sni snide comments. Well, got a few things here. Uh, let's talk to him. Oh, uh, Zero. Sorry, I couldn't fix up your weapons in time. Since there haven't been any attacks from the Arcadia, I thought I'd just upgrade your weapons instead. But it ended up taking more time than I expected. Uh, sorry about that. But I was able to make some pretty good improvements to your weapons. Uh, by the way, about your recoil rod. Do you want to know how to use it? Sure, tell me more about it. I think I know everything, but tell me. I see, I see. And the recoil rod can blast enemies with a charge and you can also aim down and shoot to fly up into the air. Certain barriers can only be destroyed with the charge attack. So don't hesitate to give it a try. Doing it... Doigt? Doigt? Okay. And I... Oh, Doigt, that's his name. I, th I thought it was uh, something like doing it, sorry. And I spent a month putting it together for you. So use it well. Of course, the trick with a new weapon is to give them a try and get used to them. And what will it be? Nothing else after that, thank you, however. Let's take a quick look around. Nothing new here, I don't necessarily want to talk to you. 
the record, blah, 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 blah. We already had that dialogue. We already had the text of speech, so nobody wants to hear it again. But we want to know, if anything, where is Andrew? We want to talk to him. Hey, Zero. When you have a moment, uh, won't you listen to my story? Uh, can I tell you? Sure, let me hear. A long time ago, I was a teacher at a school. Back then, there were many humans. It is no falsehood to say we lived in harmony together. I have so many good memories of those days. The one I remember most vividly is when we went on a picnic. There was a girl who had forgotten to bring her lunch. And when lunchtime came, she sat alone by herself. All her friends were too busy talking and eating to notice. She had, she had a, she had a hard time fitting in. You're old, I take it. Didn't speak up much. She didn't know how to tell her friends she forgot lunch. When I saw her, I figured that as much, uh, figured that as much had happened. So I gave her some donuts I had made that morning. Oh. Bored already? No, no, go on. It's interesting to... Here. You know, before I thought, I worked at a bread factory. We already know that. And before that, I was a sailor. We also know about that already. Oops, I went off track. I was telling you about me, my giving the girl a donut. And she didn't thank me and ran off with her head bowed. I thought she was going off to be with her friends. But on the way home, the girl got off the bus and gave me something. It was a short letter and a piece of clover. The letter said, Mr. Andrew, I'm sorry I didn't find you a four-leaf clover, written in tiny letters. That was her way of saying a thank you. Whenever I passed by the arbor where the school was, I recalled the sweet voices of children calling to me, Mr. Andrew, you are a treasure and I love you. Gonna make everything to make sure that you're never gonna hurt. So, that said, do we wanna make more things or will we say that we are all good and done here for the day? Hmm, it feels kind of short, I wanna say, even if we died at the beginning. Might there be anything else that I can look at? There's nothing new here. Just making sure that if there's something new that I don't miss out on it. But I don't think there is something new just yet. Most interesting thing we had with Andrew. And I think other than that, no one really holds anything in store for us. Hello Cyber Elves! Want to know more? Sure, tell me more. Miss Yell's research says that there are two types of elves. Fusion Elves and Citadel Elves. Fusion Elves perish as it has always been. For example, when an elf turns into a sub-tank or destroys some energy units. Then there's the newer types, the Satellite Elves. These elves can be equipped and removed freely and they won't perish, but you can only equip two at a time. One each in Satellite 1 and Satellite 2. There's no penalty for using Satellite Elves. Some Fusion Elves can be upgraded into Satellites. Ah, yeah, that's something we could do. We could take a look into our elves. So that we potentially have some better elves for the next mission. Because that sounds like a good thing to do. So, let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, we have you. Let's get a life energy. S rank only, I suspect. Then, Vini, my bullets will give cover fire, which sounds really good. So I could have both of them. Fusion, I don't have anything here. You can still boost my speed on lead. I think I might just be stupid using my fusion elves just whenever. Uh, plus one to your shield, speed up your weapon charge. Okay. I think I want to take actually a look at the E-Crystals and not at anything else. Use my power to boost your vitality, which sounds good. Let's get alive, okay? You're already an S rank. Okay. My bullets will give you cover fire, that will also make you stronger. Speed up your weapon charge. Actually, you are. Let's make that. So that's good. 
And you will boost my vitality. Scale alive, so also boost you up. Can I boost one of you? Wanted the shield, charge up weapons faster. So let's do that. And I think S means that they are satellites. Yeah, that's really good. I think I'm gonna have you with me in satellite one. And give me a boost to my shield by one. So now I have two elves with me. One who shoots for me and one who boosts my defense. And we will see them in action in the next episode. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below. I really would appreciate that. And I hope to see all of you in another video. So, bye!